Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn about the financial aspects of a firm. We're going to understand what I call 12 variables. And I'm not going to name them right now, but you can see in this table right here along the top, there are 12 columns. And these are the 12 variables that we are going to talk about in this lesson. And what you need to do first before we move on to learning about these concepts is you're going to need to pause the video and you're going to need to, um, to copy this whole table into your notes because we're going to be referring to this table and over the course of this lesson and the next set of lessons we are going to fully flesh out and complete every cell within this uh, within this table. So the focus of this lesson is on profit maximization of a firm. We spent some time learning about how individuals and households maximize their utility because the goal of a household is to achieve maximum utility given their limited resources. Now we're going to shift gears over to what firms are trying to accomplish. And what we learned previously is that firms are trying to achieve maximum profit. And so this lesson and many of the lessons from here on out are going to be focused on profit maximization. So here we've got a definition for profit maximization. Profit maximization is the process by which a firm chooses a product's price and the quantity they will produce. Okay, so, so profit maximization is a process where a firm tries to decide on a price that they're going to sell their product for and the quantity that they're going to produce and sell. Okay, so this whole process of prof profit maximization is focused on making a decision about the price that's going to be charged and about making a decision about the quantity of products to produce, okay? Given their cost and revenue structures. So these limitations on them making their economic decision to achieve maximum profit, remember this is their benefit, and they want to maximize their benefit, but remember that the reason that we have a limit on the benefits that we can get is because we have limitations on our costs, okay? And those limitations are uh, limitations on how much they have to pay out to produce and how much people or how much buyers are willing to pay them. That's the revenue structure. Okay, so we have the cost structure and the revenue structure so that they, the firm, so that they or it can earn the most profit. Okay, so profit maximization really is a uh, is sort of a decision making process where in order to get the most profit, a business is going to make decisions about their price and their quantity, uh, and that whole process is happening amidst the limitations of a cost structure and a revenue structure. And these are the main things that we're going to be focusing on in this lesson. All right, so to understand how a firm maximizes its profit, uh, you're going to have to understand a concept that I call the profit equation. Okay. Uh, and what we said a little, a few minutes ago is that there are 12 variables uh, in that table that you wrote out. And that's what we're going to learn over the next few lessons is about these 12 variables. And so uh, a few of those variables are uh, within what I call the profit equation. Um, and the profit equation, the first variable we're going to learn about is profit. Well, what is profit? Well, we're going to define profit in just a minute. And in order to understand profit, we're going to leave a couple extra lines here. We also have to understand a concept called loss. And then there are two other concepts. One of them is called total revenue. And you saw that in the table that you wrote out as TR. And then we're also going to learn about a concept called total cost which you saw in the table as TC, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write out definitions for all uh, four of these concepts, and then we'll talk about the profit equation. All right, so uh, let's start with profit and loss. Profit and loss are basically the same variable. They're not separate variables, okay? We already learned what profit was. We talked about it in the very introductory lesson for this semester when we talked about economics. Uh, we 
defined profit, or no, I'm sorry, it was, I think it was maybe when we talked about microeconomics, um, we defined profit. Uh, and profit is basically it's money earned in excess of money spent. So if a business earns, let's say, $500,000, and in the process of earning $500,000, they spent $400,000, well, then they have $100,000 left over. And that $100,000 $100, left over, that's the profit of the firm. Okay. Now, the profit of the firm belongs to the owners of the firm. Okay. So all profit, anything, any money earned in excess of money spent belongs to the owners of the firm. That is their money. That's, it's, the, it's what's left over that they get to keep. And profit is the reason that people start business. Owners of businesses, the reason they start the business is so that they can earn profit because the profit of the firm is their income. Okay, so profit is income for the owners of the firm. Profit is income for the owners of the firm. Now, some people might say of the firm. Well, what if, what if they started the business not for profit? Let us say they started the business just to help a lot of people. Um, well, then that is a business that was started not for profit. And so we call that a not-for-profit organization or a non-profit organization. We're not talking about nonprofit organizations in this particular class. Nonprofit organizations are more of an intermediate concept in economics. In this class, in this principles, you have to first understand profit for profit firms before you can understand a, in my opinion, a nonprofit organization. And therefore, the profit of the firm is the income for the owners of the firm. That's why they started the business, so that they can earn profit, and that's now their income. It goes into their bank account, and now they can use that at home for utility. Okay? But sometimes a firm uh, doesn't, the money that they earn is less than the money spent. And if the money earned is less than the money spent, then the profit is negative, negative profit, okay? Because we're gonna take the money earned and subtract the money spent. And if this number is larger than this number, then we have a negative number. When profit is negative, we call it loss instead of profit, okay? So the business is operating at a loss. Loss is negative profit experienced when money spent exceeds money earned. Okay, And so now what we're going to do is we're going to understand how we calculate profit. Money earned, that's total revenue. Money spent, that's total cost. I'm going to put up some definitions for that right now. All right, so profit is determined. The profit of a firm is determined by the total revenue of the firm and the total costs of the firm. What is total revenue? Total meaning all. Revenue meaning monetary income, all monetary income, all total revenue is monetary income. So when you go into, let's say, you know, um, I don't know, McDonald's or Taco Bell, and you buy something and you swipe your card and they take, you know, $8.50 out of your bank account and that $8.50 goes into the bank account of Taco Bell, that's $8.50 in revenue. And when you add up all of the money that uh, people spent at Taco Bell in, let's say, one day or one week or one month, that is all of the money, so the total revenue. So total revenue is all monetary income received by a firm as a result of selling output that it has produced. So what do firms do? They produce and they sell output. And why do they sell and produ produce and sell output? Well, so that they can get profit. But in order to get the profit, they need to sell. And when they sell, they get money for selling. And the money that they get is revenue. And we add up all of the money that they receive. It's total revenue. Total cost is basically the opposite. It's all the money spent by the firm. Total revenue is all the money coming in. 
Total cost is all the money going out. It's all monetary expenses paid by a firm in the process of producing and selling output. What do firms do? Firms produce and sell output. In order to produce and sell output, they have to pay for factors of production. And in the paying for land, in the paying for labor, in the paying, in the paying for capital, they're spending money. And if we add up all of the money that they spent to get their land, labor, and capital, that, that total amount of money is called total cost. And so what we're going to do now in the next uh, video is we're going to show the profit equation, which includes profit, total revenue, and total cost. Okay, so now that we know what profit is, and we know what total revenue is, and we know what total cost is, we're now ready to put them together into the very simple, what I call the profit equation. Profit that is earned by a firm is equal to total revenue, that's all of the income, minus total cost. So profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. Remember that the definition of pro profit that we gave was uh, the um, money earned, that's total revenue, in excess of money spent. Okay, so this is the money spent. So when we subtract uh, the money spent, total cost, from the money earned, anything left over is profit. And note that if total cost is larger than total revenue, then the money spent is, exceeds the money earned, and we would have a loss over here. Okay, So this is the equation that we're going to begin with in all of this learning about how to understand um, firm financials. Okay? Now note also that we can manipulate this equation so that we solve for total revenue. If I were to add total cost over here and add total cost over here, this would cancel. And I would have total revenue is equal to profit pro plus total cost. Let's go ahead and write that. Total revenue is equal to profit plus total cost. Now, this shows us what our revenues are uh, split up into. Our, t our revenues are split up into our profits and our costs. Another way of saying it is this, is that our revenues are comprised of the profit that goes to the owners of the firm and the costs that are being paid for the land, labor, and capital. And so this is showing that all of our revenues go out to the owners of the firm plus the land, labor, and capital, the resources that are purchased. We can now take this same formula or equation and solve for total cost. If we leave this here, we can subtract profit, cancel, subtract profit, and we get total cost is equal to total revenue minus profit. And that's our third equation that we're going to um, kind of sort of have in our, in our portfolio or in our pocket, okay, that we can use. That we can solve for total cost if we know total revenue and then subtract away the profit. So if we know the earnings, total revenue, and if we know the profit, we can just subtract the profit from the revenues and everything left over is our total cost. Okay, And so this is our initial uh, um, look at what I call the profit equation.